Setting up the G120P Variable Speed Drive using the Intelligent Operator Panel, IOP, is very simple. See for yourself how easy and quick it is to set up the G120P for control via field bus. In this case, Modbus RTU. Use the selection wheel to navigate to wizards and confirm by pressing OK. The IOP offers many wizards optimized to suit your application and setup needs. In order to make the G120P ready for field bus communication, you need to perform basic commissioning. Confirm your selection by pressing OK. Select the factory reset option to make sure that you start with a predefined state. In the next step, select the control mode. V2F with parabolic characteristic, the most common HVAC control method, is already pre-selected. Use V2F parabolic with eco mode for saving even more energy. In this mode, G120P will reduce the output voltage as much as possible without reducing the speed of the motor. Confirm by pressing OK. If during the commissioning process you would like to return to the previous step in order to make changes, press the escape button once. If you continue to press the escape button, the wizard will be terminated. Now the IOP asks you which motor data, European or US standard, should be used. So select this based on your supply frequency, that is 50 or 60 Hz. And in the next step, select the motor type you are using. Next step is the selection of the motor characteristic. The 87 Hz characteristic allows you to speed your motor up to 87 Hz without the risk of field weakening. However, please carefully study the motor rating plate as a motor operated with the 87 Hz characteristic might require higher currents which must be supported by the variable speed drive selected. Confirm the following two prompts. Now enter the motor data in accordance with the motor's rating plate. If all digits are highlighted, you can change the whole number by turning the selection wheel and confirm it by pressing OK. If you continue to hold the OK button for three seconds, you can change to a digit-by-digit -digit mode, where you can modify each digit individually. In this case, pressing the Escape button once moves you backward by one digit. Enter the nominal motor speed from the rating plate. The current limit is suggested according to the rated motor current you have entered before. It is recommended to always perform a motor ID in order to optimize the settings of your drive. For V2F control, choose motor ID at standstill. When using sensorless vector control, it's recommended as long as it's safe to do so to choose motor ID at standstill and when rotating. When prompted for the macro, select Modbus RTU field bus at the bottom of the list. This macro will preset the drive for field bus communication. In the next step, set the minimum speed of the motor as a fraction of the synchronous motor speed. Select the ramp up and ramp down times suitable for your application. The getting started guide included with the product gives recommendations for the most common HVAC applications. In the next step, you can choose a motor temperature sensor. In this example, no sensor was connected. Choose No Sensor. In the last step, review and confirm the summary of the settings you made. Save the wizard in order to store the results and set up your G120P. The only thing that needs to be done now is to change the field bus address to the required value. There are two ways to set the Modbus address either using the dip switches on your control unit or by parameter. We will show you how to set the Modbus address by parameter. First, make sure that all dip switches for the field bus address are in the off position. The Modbus address will be controlled by the control unit only if all dip switches are in the same position. To continue configuration, clip the IOP back on and allow a few seconds for the IOP to start up. Navigate to Menu, Parameters, Search by Number, and search for P2021.
Press OK to enter the parameter setting and then select a Modbus address. Zero is an invalid Modbus address. All other Modbus addresses can be used, but please make sure that every drive has a unique ID. Your drive is now almost ready for operation via Modbus. Toggle the power once in order to reboot the control unit so that all field bus settings become active. The Getting Started guide gives more information about other Modbus parameters, such as baud rate and timing. It's this easy to commission your G120P using IOP.